How do cancer cells recruit and corrupt other cells for their nefarious purposes? A simple view of a tumor is of millions of cancer cells multiplying and then working together to form and sustain a tumor. However, human tumors don't comprise of just cancer cells. Tumors contain normal cells, including fibroblasts and various immune cells. Together, these cells form the tumor microenvironment. And cancer cells can coerce these normal cells to help tumors grow, resist treatment, and spread to nearby and distant organs. In our study, we wanted to understand how cancer cells corrupt these normal cells to do their bidding. We previously showed that in certain types of breast cancers, interaction of cancer cells and fibroblasts results in upregulation of genes in the cancer cells known as interferon-stimulated genes, or ISGs. As a consequence, breast cancer cells expressing these ISGs with the help of fibroblasts are resistant to therapy in mice, while tumors comprised of breast cancer cells alone respond very well and the mice are cured. Evidence from patient tumors also suggests a link between ISGs and aggressive features of cancers. Interestingly, ISGs typically function to combat viruses, but in our model system, and in most human tumors, ISGs increase in the absence of virus infection. This suggests that something in the tumor microenvironment can mimic a virus. We found that the breast cancer cells coerce normal fibroblasts to secrete tiny virus-sized vesicles known as exosomes. Within these exosomes, there is RNA that is recognized as a danger signal in the recipient breast cancer cells by the viral RNA pattern recognition receptor, RIG-I. In a sense, fooling RIG-I into responding as it would during virus infection. RIG-I activation in breast cancer cells then initiates a cascade that culminates in resistance to cancer therapies. In our current study, we sought to understand how this collusion with stromal fibroblasts was occurring by identifying the RNA responsible, the initiating signals, and a mechanism for this aberrant activity. We found that there is a very abundant non-coding RNA, known as RN7SL1, or 7SL, that is present in fibroblast-derived exosomes after the fibroblasts have encountered breast cancer cells. 7SL is highly structured and, crucially, contains a 5' triphosphate that RIG-I preferentially binds. At baseline, RIG-I is inactive unless it physically encounters an RNA ligand. 7SL is very abundant in all cell types, localized to the cytoplasm with RIG-I, and can directly bind and activate RIG-I. Thus, this presented a conceptual problem. Why then isn't RIG-I being constantly activated by 7SL and sending out danger signals? We found that this is due to 7SL's normal function as the RNA scaffold for the signal recognition particle. In this role, it is always shielded by many proteins, including SRP9 and SRP14, which may obscure its 5' triphosphate motif. Therefore, under normal circumstances, 7SL is hidden from recognition by RIG-I. However, in the context of this inappropriate interaction between breast cancer cells and fibroblasts, breast cancer cells send signals that directly activate the fibroblasts, resulting in increased levels of 7SL RNA. In contrast, the levels of the protein shields, SRP9 and 14, remain constant. This allows unshielded 7SL to be secreted out in exosomes and delivered to the cancer cells as a potent activator of RIG-I. The signaling results in tumor progression, therapy resistance, and increased metastatic potential. These exosomes containing unshielded 7SL can also have far-reaching impact in the tumor microenvironment. Notably, they can elicit inflammatory responses by immune cells. In summary, our work defines a mechanism for how cancer cells coerce normal cells to deploy endogenous RNA in a way that mimics a virus. Recognition by receptors like RIG-I results in potent signals that promote the most aggressive features of cancer.